Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're having an amazing day. It's your boy Jay the Moto Marauder back at again with another video. Today's video is going to be practically a review of the Osmo Action 3. I know everyone's doing a review of the Os of the Osmo Action 4, but I, I don't have five, six hundred bucks to spend on a new action cam. This one cost me, upon purchase last month, like a hundred, like two fifty, two eighty, and that's I, I'd say that's like a decent ballpark for like the next step from a cheap action cam from like from like a hundred dollar one from Amazon or an older GoPro I feel like this is like in between the newer models like the Insta Ace, the Insta 360 Ace Pro the GoPro whatever version they're on now and the uh, what you might call action 4 I feel like this is an even ground in between those with the older like GoPro Hero 7, 8 and my Caso that I used to have, I still have, but I don't use anymore. But like I say, I, I, like I feel like it's a good middle ground. So, and I'm using it. It's been it's been a month of using it, so I thought I'd make a review on it. Cause why not? We need the content anyways, right? <laughs> All right. So, anyways, honestly, I'm in love with it. It's 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 an amazing action camera compared to the quality of the Caso, which was alright. But when you like ex like zoom in. The quality of the videos on the Acosta were grainy and blurry. Well, on this, I'm recording in 2.7 or 4K 60 FPS, and uh, gotta say, it's bonito. It's very bonito. I love it. I honestly love it. It's honestly really amazing the quality of this camera for the price point for the price point of what you get for the amount that you pay honestly can't beat it you honestly can't beat it oh. you honestly can't beat the price point on this It's, it's an amazing action cam. I, I really love the 4, 4K quality on this. Also, the ultra wide view with the rock steady. Man, it makes it really good for shorts and even for these motor vlogs. It makes everything seem faster than it is, even though while I'm going decent speeds. I feel like on a cruiser, when you view things, tends to look slower than they actually are been to this side so man what happened to that car so honestly I'm in love with this camera the only issue I've had which is my pet which is just a pet peeve is you need a, like a grade 3 SD card and those things are like really expensive for example 64 gig is like 80 90 bucks from what I can tell for some reason I had one I had one of these in uh, my voice recorder to be honest in the task cam like I guess I picked one up one time I thought oh I could get like a nice fancy SD card and <laughs> I didn't even realize I had one like a grade 3 I'm pretty sure it's a grade 3, I can't remember off the top of my head. It's like it's like that expensive one, okay? It's the expensive one. And when I first got the camera, I was like, oh snap, I don't have an SD card like that. I'm gonna have to spend another like 80, 90 bucks, 100 bucks on getting an SD card. But it turns out I didn't really need to because I already had one. But in a two and a half hour ride, that fills up. For the amount of time that the battery on this thing is, One time that the battery is on this, it pretty much fills up the entire SD card. So if I'm going for like a longer ride, let's say more than like a daily the commute to work, 
I'm gonna have to bring an extra battery and an extra SD card if I'm going for like a four or five hour ride. Oh. Which, which honestly annoys me, but it is what it is. I should probably get a bigger SD card for the most part. I feel like there's still like 15 to 20 percent juice in uh, the camera when the SD card gets full. So, we're still testing that out. But overall, the camera on this thing is amazing, as you guys can see. I've been doing all my, sh all my, uh, I've been doing all my motor vlogs on it, my YouTube sh shorts, my IG reels. All of that's been done on this for the past month, and the quality is amazing. I've seen a huge re retention of the audience of you guys staying now because of the quality of the videos. Like, is it, like it, like it's actually impressive how much. The the change they they change from 1080p to 2.7 to 4k made in the audience the retention and it's been like expiring like okay I okay like I need to get my money's worth out of this camera like do as much creative stuff as I can you know so it's just been an amazing camera these things that I have it on I have the exposure to auto but on a day like this where it's uh bright and sunny I'm actually testing out the exposure and setting it to 100 to 400 ISO instead of doing auto I had it on auto for 100 to 800 ISO but I really but I but I've been thinking that it's a bright day today because it's like like we're in May but this summer times practically already started yeah like the internal mic on this thing is pretty decent too I, I don't have it the connected to I don't have my uh, the purple panda uh, connected to it I don't have the adapters but I feel like the setup I have now with the Tascam and the action camera being separate is actually better I get nice deeper exhaust notes like more mellow but deep exhaust notes from the purple panda with the task cam, but let's say if I'm doing a short where I'm going on the r on the road, you know those ones that do the Sunday preset. Those ones with just the ex internal mic from the action cam itself, it's more than enough to get like a decent exhaust note, and it's just amazing. It's just amazing. The bike needs a wash, hands down. I'll probably do that today because it's been a and the heat wrap, dude, that thing's annoying me. I don't want to do it again, but I feel like I gotta. I feel like I'm just putting my foot on it too much and like making it making the heat happen. But honestly, I had the bike parked inside the house for a while because well the project car has taken over the garage. I'm not gonna give you guys that yet. I'm recording that for the winter. Just so you guys know, we have a project car which I'm recording for the winter, and I have about four five videos on that already. They're recorded. I need to edit them bit by bit by Christmas time. But since that has taken over the, the garage, I've had this in in like the main hallway of the house. And I moved out today after week and there's a small puddle around the front area and I'm feeling like it was oil. But it felt like it was oil. I touched and stuff like yeah, like it was oil. So I'm so I'm trying to figure out if it's engine oil, transmission oil, or what type of I feel like it, it was engine oil. But the oil level seems fine whenever I, I check it. So that's that anyways we're not here to talk about the oil we're here to talk about the action cam itself the, the action cam is great and I wouldn't change it for the world well getting a better one sure but for a budget if you're on a budget but you're not too on a budget like I was before and you had to get like an Acaso those are great ones to start off with but if you're trying to level up from the Acaso to a better action cam but not spend like five six hundred eight hundred bucks on an action cam go with the action three it's, a, it's at a decent price point, add in a Tascam and a Purple Panda for both three, four hundred bucks. If you buy everything new, if you buy used, well, you can save a ton of money. But if you're, um, but if you're going for like a budget setup, then honestly, can't be beat. Can't be beat. All right, guys, I'm going to take a little break here and catch you guys in the next video.
to, to comment down below what you guys think of the settings right now yeah the bike needs a wash but like the action cam is a little great one it's been a month of using it and i absolutely enjoy using it for every single thing that i do and yeah i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys did please consider consider hitting the, the subscribe button i'll catch you on the next one all right see ya